Routines. So I wanted to talk about feminist. Today's feminist. AKA, well, they spell and mispronounce me, 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 and S wrong all the time. AKA, me, 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 and S. There is no, like, we're for women type thing. It's, um, we have no reason to be bitching anymore. There is no pay wage gap fucking thing. Um, honestly, men have more problems than women do now. But, you know, no one really wants to, like, not that many people want to talk about that. Stop. You don't have any. Dog. Want my candy bar? She can't have it. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I can't share my chocolate with you. Is that music? Okay. Anyway. Because if they really were about women, they'd give a fuck about women. In other countries who are actually being oppressed, you know, being punished, murdered for being raped. Who can't even, like, leave their house without, or maybe they got away with that, or did away with that recently, I'm not sure. But at least up until recently, if not still, who couldn't leave their house without a male escort. Not escort, like, prostitute, but, like, you know, like, a brother or dad or husband if they have one. It's more than likely. Um. No voting, you know. I'm going to say they might even only be counted as like half a witness testimony like in court and shit like that. I, I could be getting that twisted with another thing. I don't think so. But. Hey, down. Yeah, there, there's many, many, many women out there who could use the women in America who do have rights, who do have the ability and power and shit. Voice platform, except they're destroying that terribly, to be able to go out and empower and help other women who really, truly fucking need it. And so I'm sick of it. They have nothing to be offended or oppressed by, and so they fucking make shit up or... Um, like, twist things into it, or fucking... Find something. Some, something to be oppressed about. Next thing. When are we gonna have the men's, like, men's rights movement? Okay, um, so abortion touchy subject for a lot of people I don't judge you if you've ever gotten one like what, whatever I don't know the circumstances I'm not you whatever I don't know other people's lives unless you're really that close in mine do not impact mine so does it really matter that much that's a whole nother debate anyhow or discussion so <clears throat> My point right now, though, is what what I want to talk about is the fact that men have no rights and whether or not, like, a woman gets an abortion. Like, they don't get to be like, no, that's my baby, because the woman's like, it's my body. You can't make me grow a parasite in it. Hm. And I know there are cases where a woman truly needs an abortion. And, and I do agree with this abortion and think it should be the choice in exceptional cases. But as far as, like, the whole, it's my body, I shouldn't have to if I don't want to type thing, basically, like, I can't afford it, all that. There are people out there who can, and okay, yes, you shouldn't have to grow the body within you. Well, here's the thing that I looked up earlier, and I'll put the link into my description, 1984, there's a woman who was infertile. They took her man's sperm, her husband's sperm, sperm, 
sperm. Her husband's sperm. And, uh, like, her egg. And, um, like, put it in a surrogate. And, like, a grew little embryo or whatever. And then they took that and transferred it to the original woman's womb. And she successfully carried that child. So, my thing is is when, you know, situations occur where maybe, you know, man, woman, guy, girl, really have sex, she gets pregnant, and then, you know, for whatever reason wants to abort, maybe the man doesn't want to, and he actually wants to have a kid, you know, I feel like that would be a better option than just being like, well, fuck him, fuck his feelings, fuck his kid, he don't fucking matter, all that matters is my body, and then, like, here's the conundrum, or, like, the thing that fucking baffles me is, yeah, it's your body for sure, but we all know the potential risk or gifts of having sex, um, even, even if you're doing fucking birth control and whatnot, like, there's still percentages, like, small, but... There's still chances that you could get pregnant, especially if you're doing the pill and miss it, and you're, like, way higher likely to get pregnant. Which, especially in those cases, when it's your own responsibility, why punish that baby and the man? Like, you, it was your body when you were having sex, when you were letting his dick go in you, Okay. I'm just saying, you you knew, and you knew the consequences, or the potential, so this goes to everyone, male, female, all of you, myself included, but I mean, I've been in a long-term relationship, and I'm, a lot of people hate this term, but whatever, like, I'm a sappy of sexual, like, I definitely, and that's not, some people don't think it's, oh, basically, you just want someone who's not fucking dumb. It's more of, like, the mind literally turns me on. That is what gets me aroused. So, I can't have sex with someone I don't know because I don't know their mind. And yeah, anyhow. Um, you should really know who you're sleeping with, you know? And if you're a young man or man and kids is something really important to you, like, to have one day and you really want to say in it, honestly, like every guy in this world how women get seem to seem to get all the fucking rights over men um i i would honestly like make a contract like hey you know are you on contraception or whatever and you know write that in if she is if she isn't you know discuss i mean just you don't have to do the contract but i mean honestly just fucking discuss whether or not, you know, they'd want to get an abortion, and this is where, like, the whole contract thing comes in, you know, you don't want to be, like, her be like, oh, well, you know, yeah, maybe, I don't know, I want kids, yeah, and then freak out when she actually gets pregnant, and then be like, well, fuck you, it's my body, and you'd be like, well, you, 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 you said you'd be cool with it, so, uh, yeah, but, I mean, really, just conversate with people, like, ask about what matters to them because it really does matter especially a potential future uh partner and um co-parent so yeah um i'm just sick of men being so vilified and like, battered down, and this whole toxic masculinity shit. What about toxic femininity? I see it a lot. Toxic masculinity? Mm, I don't even honestly know what the fuck that is. Like, men being men? Because honestly, um, not honestly, but like, realistically, factually, men and women have inherent fucking differences. We have since the dawn of time it's like literally written in our fucking DNA and genetics and just like there's I want to say somewhere around like 500 differences but whatever so anyhow and since forever because these differences natural differences and inclinations men have been typically 
always. Excuse me. The ones, excuse you, the ones who go out and, you know, hunt, get the food, like build the huts, or houses, roads, etc. While women, sorry, honey, build your, you know, like did the inside of the house, decorated, not just decorated, but filled it and made it a home. And mother the children, you know. Also, like, you know, uh, guarded the house, basically. Because way back when, before our, you know, nice ancient Egyptians made fucking locks, um, you know, like, it was important, probably, for it to be there to watch over the house and the kids. And not both people out all day. So... It's just so deeply, like, embedded in us. And people need to get the fuck over it. Like, we complement each other. Like, equality and being the same are not the same thing. We can be equals while having entirely huge differences. So, um, but we'll never be equals when there's feminists out there who speak and speak like they're superior to men and treat men like they're superior to them. That's why we have the MGTOW, the Men Going Their Own Way group now, which really thank fuck for it because I've seen firsthand the effects of these types of women can have on men and it is fucking devastating. I won't go into detail right now, but my fucking beloved boyfriend's ex-wife was a woman like that, and honestly, had we not met, either he'd have killed her, or, like, ended up, well, no, she left him for a dude that she met while she was with him and mutual friends. Like, she met the dude through mutual friends of theirs, which is also, like, even more fucked up, but whatever. Um, needless to say, I'm sure he would have went that route because he hoped every day she would die. That's how terrible she was to him. I mean, anyway, th 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 this is my Dr. Phil session. I honestly wanted to go over some of my fucking opinions and why I feel that way. So, my passions. Passions, passions, passions. Oh, one more thing. Women who, um, bitch about being objectified, shut the fuck up, because, like, I've seen women objectify themselves so many times. I've done it. I do it. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Fuck yeah, I objectify myself. To be honest, it's a kink. But besides that, even, yeah, if I can use fucking, um, one of my natural fucking things about me to advance and no I'm not like a gold digger or whatever that's not what I'm saying but to like get help I'm going to 